Welcome back to the homestead everyone. Welcome back inside of our kitchen where today we're going to show you how to can pears. We're going to show you the step-by-step -step process on how to can pears today. We have part of our setup over here and behind me and here's the other part of our setup. You're going to need all these different things to process and can your pears. So let's get started with the first step over here, blanching our pears. So behind me you see several different things. We've got our sterilized jar tops right here. We've got our water bath canner and that water is already getting warm. We've got a pot here in the front for blanching our pears. We've got a pot of water here with a little bit of sugar in it to put into uh, the pear jars along with the pears themselves. And we've got a cool bath over here where we're gonna take out our blanched pears and we're gonna get, in, get them into this cool water first to stop any cooking that happens. You wanna make sure when you're blanching your pears that you don't cook them. The only reason we're blanching the pears is to remove the skin. The skin on these Warren pears, and since we do an organic, uh, is fairly tough and it's really not that enjoyable. Plus, I don't know too many people who really can uh, pears with the skin on. So we're gonna be removing the skin from these. 30 seconds, no more than that is all it's gonna to take to get the skin off these pears. Some areas are gonna be a little bit more difficult, not a big deal, but any more than 30 seconds and you're gonna really start to cook these things. So be careful, use a timer. Here we are at the next step of our process, and that is removing the skin from the pears that we just blanched. Now the skin, after these are cooled off, should simply peel off like that. Right here we've got that bowl from over by the stove that's got our cooling pears in it. We've got another big bowl right here for our processed pears, our skin pears, and in there we've got some lemon juice. Right here we've got a, just a scrap bowl for all of this skin and once we get this skin as you can see it comes off really easily certain pears actually have a thicker skin like these uh, these warrens and it's going to take a little bit more to get them off but as you can see the skin simply peels right off of the pear once you have that pear skinned you can remove any blemishes that you have like this little bit of a rotten spot here a little overripe starting to to go bad you can remove that we cut them in half and what we find works well is a metal melon baller some of the plastic melon ballers are just too weak to take on the firmness of a pear uh, flesh so we just take out the core right there and if need be we just take our knife and we trim out that central stem that extends down into the core. And we trim out the end. There we are. We usually half them. Sometimes you can quarter them if need be. Now that we have our pears processed and waiting for us to put in the jars, we need a sterilized jar. And actually the easiest way to do that is in the microwave. What you do is simply wet down the inside of each jar pour out the water, pop them in the microwave for one minute. All right, we've got our funnel for our jar here. We're gonna take our pears and get them inside of our jar. Now, pack as many as you can in there and kind of layer them. These are really small pears, so they're really not, they're kind of kind of fall together fairly well. But if you see some space in there, just kind of move them around and get them all tidied up, packed in there as much as you can. We've got some quarter slices here we did because the centers of certain pears are, were a little hard. You wanna make sure you leave enough headroom also at the top of the jar. Now that we have our pears in our jar, we're gonna to want to put in our mixture here of sugar water and make sure that you have enough headroom here at the top of the jar. You want at least a half an inch to three quarters of an inch of headroom at the top of your jar. So don't, do not fill this 
too full. Always have a rag handy or a wet towel handy to wipe off your jar top so that you are sure to get a good seal on this jar when we put it in the water bath. Turn it till it's just snugs up and then turn a tiny bit more and you should be all set. The next step of course is to put it in our water bath canner. We've got this water boiling here. You want to make sure you always have a minimum of one inch of water over the top of your jar. These are important as well. These are uh, canning tongs. This ensures you do not touch that top once you take it out of the water bath. That is incredibly important. So let's put it in here. We're going to put it in our other cans. Make sure they're covered one inch over the top. We're going to boil these for 20 minutes. 20 minutes at the minimum and no more than 30 ever, but 20 is usually perfect. Okay, our 20 minutes are up. Now we're going to take these out and let them cool off on our cooling rack over here. Now, you want to make sure that they're cooling off for a minimum of 12 hours and a maximum of about 24. I guess there is no maximum, but a minimum of 12 to 24 hours because uh, they need to cool down and that vacuum needs to be created inside and that top needs to pop down. And you will hear that top pop when they're ready to be handled. They'll cool off, create the vacuum, pull that top down. If you don't hear that pop or else, or after that period of time, you come by and you push on the top and it still uh, gives way and it makes that popping sound, then you know you need to do it again. So it's really that easy, guys. Water bath canning pairs, they're gonna last you on your shelf between six months and a year but they're gonna taste so great that you're really probably gonna eat them way before that. Thanks for being here, everyone. We hope all this information was helpful and we hope to see you back on the next video. That next video will be out next week on Tuesday, like always. And we want to send you over to our website, countrylimbingexperience.com to check out our video. If you're interested, all of these canning items will be in the description below. Thank you very much, everyone. Hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye.